we were just talking to Hilton Cartwright, and he, he said that the bowlers don't like it out here too much. <laughs> a bit smaller. How do you feel about playing at the junction? Yeah, he's right. Like, it is a bit smaller, and that's just something you have to adapt to as a bowling group. And um, we've obviously got our plans to make sure we try and minimise the damage. Um, but, yeah, it's always a tough ask here at junction. You played here last year. I'm not sure if you played in the game, maybe. Uh, much different to playing at the G, obviously. That's way bigger. Yeah, it's a big difference, um, and that's the thing. I know the Stars uh, do a lot of their bowling planning around getting guys to hit to the long square boundaries and being a little bit different here. Uh, plans change a little bit with that, um, but again, it's something that we adapt to, and we play in lots of different conditions, and ground sizes are a lot different around the country, so I'm sure both teams will be very uh, well prepared and ready to go. Like the Stars, you're one and one. What have you made of the start to the year? Yeah, we've been... Um, Good in patches and, and not so good in patches as well. So it's one of those things where yeah, we, we take the learnings from the games, so the good things and the bad things, and just making sure that we bounce back and we're bringing the energy and making sure we're ready to go each time we step out there. Where are the stars dangerous? What are the big focuses? Oh, there's a, a few dangerous points. Um, you look at the top when they're bowling, they've got a world-class attack there, led by Trent Bolt, Nathan coulton um, two very experienced cricketers there. And then from a batting side of things as well, Joe Clark's coming off 100. Um, by Webster hit one into the third tier or something at the MCG. So um, there's, there's plenty of quality throughout that lineup, and um, yeah, we're doing a fair bit of planning to make sure that we've got some really good plans in place for those players. And a few guys you know really well, obviously. Is there a bit of a rivalry there? Oh, there's always rivalry, yeah. Um, it's great to see so many of our WA boys getting chances in different competitions around the world, but also throughout the Big Bash uh, in all the different teams. So yeah, there's a bit of rivalry there, but um, as soon as we step off the field, we're all mates again, and it's, uh, it's always good fun. How's your body feeling after all the whole journey? Where, where are you at personally? Yeah, really good. Um, body's been great. Uh, it's been a, a quick turnaround from our first and second game, so straight on the plane, straight to Lonnie um, and in that game. But no, I'm feeling good. We've had a couple of days here in Melbourne. The sun's not out now, but the sun was out the last couple of days. It's been beautiful to just sort of get, um, yeah, just have a couple of days to, to chill, train and get ready to go. Have you had to do anything differently personally or have you mixed anything up on the body front? or it's same as ever? No, nah, same as ever at the moment. So I've been in a pretty good routine for the last couple of years and just knowing how important like the recovery side of things is for me, uh, making sure that I'm ticking those boxes and, and also doing as much on the training track as I feel like I need to to be ready to go. I asked Hilton about this, but obviously around this time of year there's the eternal discussion about Christmas Day, BBL. Where, where do you sit on that side of the, on that discussion? Yeah, I'd personally like to see um, us not play on Christmas Day. Uh, I'd love to just be able to spend that day with my family and, um, and enjoy the festivities of Christmas and yeah, that's where I stand on that one. Any of the guys going to go back uh, to their ports, I suppose, to the, the families um, during the, the break at all? Or I know it's tight with the schedule. Yeah, so the tight schedule because we play on Boxing Day in Perth. Um, so fortunately, most of our guys are based in Perth, so that's really nice for us. Um, so I think on the whole, we'll all be going back to Perth on that front. Yep. Is that the general feel from most players that you don't want to play on Christmas? Oh, I think so. It's really hard to speak from for everyone, but I think that would be the general consensus, I think, yeah, at this stage. So it's something you get canvas on by Cricket Australia and that sort of thing? Do they ask for opinions on that? Sort of uh, yeah, certainly through our Players Association. We have good discussions with them about um, when we can have input into structures and schedules and things like that. Um, we certainly make sure that we, we voice our opinion because um, there's no point sitting silent and then complaining if, if something doesn't go your way. So, yeah, there's definitely conversations and, and guys are putting their opinions forward. What's your view on the season length, given it's sort of all, all, again, all to the point, of, particularly with the TV rights up at the moment? Yeah, well, that's a big discussion. Um, so there's, yeah, there's obviously a, a lot of things to play out with the TV rights deal and what the competition looks like and, and the changes coming with the new MOU, things like that. Um, yeah, I'd, the main thing for me is that the, the competition is a strong competition, it's a fun competition, and that we're getting some good crowds. And I think the best way we're doing that is making sure it's within, say, the school holiday period, because mm -hmm. um, especially we found at times when the, the competition finishes after school holidays, the crowds die off for the really exciting, important games like the finals. So, um, yeah, hopefully we see that continue. And Jason, just from a Scorchers point of view, mate, Josh Inglis was outstanding the other night. How good is it to see him back in form as well? Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, we know Ingo's such a class player and he's had a great little experience over the last probably 18 months with the Australian cricket team. And to have him back whenever we get him is like gold. So he's, his hands are great behind the stumps. And as we saw the other night, he's, um, he's a really tough batter to stop once he gets going. He hits the ball in all different areas. Um, and yeah, he's really tough to stop. So he's a great addition for us. And new ball partner, Jai Richardson as well. The ball's coming out really well for him. He's taken you know, seven wickets in the opening two matches. Just a word on him as well. Yeah, he's bowling well. Um, no, he's bowling fast and he's got some really nice change-ups at the moment. I think his top speed was around 140 and some of the slower balls he rocked out the other night were about 90, 95 k's an hour. So that's a huge difference. Uh, really tough for batters to sort of 
pick up on those different changes when you're expecting one thing and, and something completely different comes out. So yeah, he's got some tricks and it's great to have Jai around. Thanks, Jason. Brilliant.